something strange is happening in the forests of Africa. Chimpanzees are doing things no one has seen them do before. They were in a partying mood. But that's not all. At a site called Fongoli in Senegal, they've also invented a remarkable way of catching a meal. They're making spears and hunting, just like our ancestors. Are these apes developing human-like skills in their own environment? After all, the great apes, chimpanzees, orangutans, gorillas, and bonobos, seem so much like us. It's hard not to feel a deep connection. We have come to see that we're much more similar to them than we ever imagined. But for every revelation about the power of their minds, another shows up a stunning difference. If you think that human genetics and ape genetics are 99% the same, what we've managed to achieve in our current position on Earth is so strikingly different from that of apes. We're trying to figure out what is it that makes us human. What's the little difference that makes the big difference? How big is the gap between them and us? What's holding them back? In a remote part of Africa, there is something new under the sun. Our closest living relatives are getting bold. Chimps are supposed to be afraid of water, but this young male is climbing down for a dip. keeps a hand on the natural safety line as he overcomes his fear. Has a boy or girl ever had so much fun in a swimming hole? Wild chimps have never been seen before playing like this. At Fongoli in Senegal, anthropologist Jill Preetz and psychologist Andrew Whiten are getting an extraordinary glimpse of chimp emotions. The personality of chimpanzee is extremely excitable. I've hardly ever seen a facial expression like that. I mean, that was extreme excitement to, to the stage of kind of losing control. It's not merely just to, to cool off. I mean, it, the juveniles have fun. I mean, they play in the water. They play a lot in the water. This is only one of a rush of discoveries that is painting a surprising picture of eight minds. They are more like us than most researchers ever imagined. One by one, the skills and emotions we once thought were uniquely human are being found in apes. Still, specific mental gaps, the little differences that make the big difference, will ultimately explain why we study them and not the other way around. While the swimming hole is revealing chimps' emotions in the field, a new laboratory study is showing off their amazing rational powers. 
At the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Leipzig, Germany, psychologist Joseph Kohl places a peanut inside a clear tube. How can the chimpanzee get the snack? She's never seen this puzzle before. For 10 minutes, there's no solution in sight. And all of a sudden, boom, they solve it. They have to understand that they can use the, the water as a tool. This is interesting because the water itself, it doesn't have any shape. Using water as a tool seems like something we would do on a good day. Another tool is being put to remarkable use by wild chimps in their quest for a meal. Back in Senegal, Jill Preetz has been keeping a close eye on the chimps' eating habits. Throughout Africa, chimps eat almost anything, and they have a particular taste for meat. Here, their favorite prey is the bush baby, a small nocturnal primate. But these chimps aren't catching bush babies barehanded. Preets has seen chimps making spears and using them to hunt. Andrew Whiten hopes to join the ranks of the few who have witnessed this extraordinary behavior. To make a spear, a chimp starts by breaking off a branch, then sharpening the tip. All in the quest to catch a bush baby in its daytime sleeping hollow. So the next step would be that the chimp would approach the cavity and sometimes look in, take the tool, jab forcefully into the cavity multiple times. It may not be ice pick sharp, but when driven by an arm up to five times as strong as a human's, it's a potentially lethal weapon. They always either sniff it or lick it when they withdraw the tool. What they may do is actually break open the entire cavity, and if they're lucky, find a bush baby inside. Break, strip, sharpen, stab. These chimps take a series of distinct steps in a carefully premeditated hunt. Preets and Whiten are closing in on the answers. Most of the 20 spear hunts observed by Preets have taken place during the rainy season. Over time, she has seen every stage of the kill. A chimp is inspecting a hollow, looking for a bush baby. She breaks off a branch and makes a spear. The first time I saw a chimp make a tool, I think I said something like, where is she going and what is she going to do with that tool? She nibbles the tip to sharpen it. Then, with the aid of her foot, she aims the point into a hollow. Preetz has made a landmark discovery. Never before has any non-human species been known to routinely make and use deadly weapons. So what does spear hunting reveal about how chimpanzees think? Preetz and her team have seen about half of the chimps here brandishing weapons, which means spear hunting has spread through much of the group. That seems natural to us.